So in this video, we are going to discuss this question which was recently and its called forces around 889 rated for division 2. So first, let us understand the proper statement. So problem name is C1 dual EZ version. So what does the problem says? So problem says that we will be given an integer array in which the we, we can also contain the number negative number as well and the which or, and the which range is between minus 20 to plus 20. And but the problem has said that we can choose two, two integer indexes i and j such that, such that both the integer number are smaller than n. And we can also choose the same number twice. For example, I can also choose 1 and 1. And what the problem has said that if I choose the two numbers i and j, then what can I do? I can simply add the jth number into the ith number or I can replace my ith number with i with ai plus aj. And my aj does not change but my all but my the, the only change which happened to is with only the ai which means i can choose two numbers i and j and i can simply do simply add aj to ai or replace ai with ai plus aj so now what problem has asked ask us to do we have to sort the array by using the some arbitrary number of operation and it has also given us a condition such that we can or uh, it can which is we can at most choose 50 operations to do this to do this to, to, to make our array in increasing order and the and the, the point here is that will we, we will be giving an integer array whose size is always more than equal to 20 and my all the number are ranges between minus 20 to plus 20 which means my caution are very much low and we can simply run or we can simply think of a brute force operation and the main point is that we are giving only 50 operation which means we can at most use 50 operations and we have to print the operations also and the problem does not have a constant that if we have to minimize that 50 operations which means if I if I minimum operations consider of 40 operations we can also print 50 as well and until and else my number of operations are smaller than 50 so now let us begin to the answer so what I have done during this problem is I have break the problem into sub problems I have breaking this problem into sub problem first case is that if my all the numbers are positive second case is that if my all the numbers are negative and third case is of course i have a mixed mix mix array in which my arrays are negative and positive as well so now let us begin to the answer so if if my array contain all the numbers which are positive then what can i simply do if they could if my if my array contain all the numbers which are positive and in random order which means my initial sequence is not sorted then what can i do i can simply make a prefix sum you will be shocked that yes in positive case prefix sum is all the answer and my atmos operation will be n so here you can see my sequence is 3 4 1 6 which is not sorted then i after prefix sum what i can do i can add my first number into, th into second number then my second number will be converted to my first plus second then I can simply what can I do? I can simply add my second number, which which will be become which will become now have become seven into third one. Now which will be when added to third one, it will always be increasing. So which means my answer in all the positive cases simply prefix them in which I what what I will do? I will add my first number into my second number. Then my second number is begin is become greater than first number. Then after that, what can I do? I can simply add my second number to third number, then third to fourth, then fourth to fifth, till n. And in this in this case, my at most operation will be n, which will be always be smaller than 50 because my n is at most 20. So this is case for positive. Similarly, if you have all the negative stream, then you must have guessed the right answer. So in this case, we have to make a suffix sum. For example, in this case, I have a random stream of a negative numbers which is not which is not in increasing order so what i have done i have simply make a suffix sum in this case so what i have done i have take my last number and add it to my second last number for example this minus one will be added to my num. for example this minus one will be added to minus eight and this and then my minus eight will become minus nine so which will which is all which is indeed smaller than my next number then here we can see my minus 3 is greater than my mind is greater than my minus 3 so what 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 you can notice now my minus 8 has become minus 9 so what i will do 
I will simply add this minus 9 to this minus 3 which will give me minus 12. Similarly, I can repeat this process and simply take to the end or I can say I can simply run this simulation from end to 0 and in this case my also my atmos operation is n and this is case for the negative numbers and this is case for the negative numbers so now my last what i have done so this is case for my negative numbers so my last my last case is left which in which my array contain both positive numbers and both negative numbers which which my array contains both positive and negative numbers so in this case we can simply we can simply think of a greedy solution because here no no there is no need of dp here we can simply think of a greedy solution so what i will first do now i will choose a maximum element from a stream of array in which it contains both the positive and negative numbers and i will also ensure that my greater number is not equal to zero so i will choose a positive number greater than zero which will be the maximum one or I can say I will simply choose the maximum number from this array which will be always be positive so what can I but I will do I will simply increase this positive number some number of times or I can say because we, we have a valid because we have a valid operation in which my both the numbers can be equal to same numbers or I can say I will choose I can choose a sequence in which my both operations are equal to same number so I will in the first what i will do i will increase my three some number of times and make it some and make it large enough such that it is large such that it is the largest element in the array so what you can do i have here i have took i have taken the three which is the largest which is the largest element and i have increased this three five number of times but you have seen i have taken it five because if because in first operation what i will do i will add three plus three which will become equal to six then if I again perform the operation in the same index, then it will be not be 3 plus 6, it will be 6 plus 6. Then again 12 plus 12, then 24 plus 24. Then in this way my sequence will increase. So what I will do, I will choose the maximum number and increase that number some number of times and, and place it there. Then then what can I do? I will, I will simply run from 0 to n and check if my n before this you have to change my first number to this increase number for example i will change to this one to this number also now i will what can i do simply i will simply run a loop from i to n and check if my previous number is greater than my next number then what i will do i will i will i will increase my next number with the previous number until is until that number is greater than my previous number i think it is a bit confusing i if i if I tell you one more time, I will I will change my first number to that increase number which I have increased. Now I what I will do, I will I will run a loop from i is equal to 1 till smaller than n. Then I will check if my current number is smaller than my previous number. Then what I will do, I will simply increase my current number with previous number until that number is greater than previous number means i will add the previous number in that number also because that number is always become positive because that i have done this operation because because by, because at this time my first number has become positive for example if instead of minus one instead of one i have minus one then if i if, then if i will add my minus one to one then it will then it will then it will always decrease that number so i have making ensure that adding by this number to first number will always make it positive because I have at most minus 20 and then I will add this number to this number then it will always become a positive number so I will simply make my first number as a positive number then what can I do I can simply run a loop from i is equal to 1 to l and I will check if my current number is smaller than previous number then I will add my previous number which will always be positive to my current number and until it is and until that number become greater than previous number I will add and I simply push the indexes in my answer array so if i show you the code you will understand it more clearly so here you can see i have first taken the number of positive negative and zeros then i will initially count number of negative numbers number of positive numbers number of zeros and i will take a vector pair in my answer 
if you let's say VPP, VPP is simply a vector of pair in command. So what can I will do next? I will simply check if my positive plus negative or if my positive plus zeros is equal to n, which means my array only contains zeros or positive number. There is no negative number. Then what can I do? I can simply run now. Then I can simply make a suffix sum and simply add i comma i plus one in my answer array. Second case is that if my array contain only negative numbers or zero numbers, then what can I simply do? I can simply run a loop from n to i in a reverse, and I will make a suffix sum such that my all the number will be in increasing order, and I will push the operation in my answer array in the same sequence order. And my last case is that my array contain both positive and negative number as well. In this case, I will choose my maximum index from the array. In which I will choose a choose a number which will be maximum from the my array, and I but can what I will do, I will simply I will simply increase my maximum number by ten number of times, and or I can make a arbit I can make it, and I will increase a arbitrary number of times such that it becomes a maximum number in that array. Now in that now after after that what can I do? I can simply I or I can simply add that maximum number in my first number. Or I can also check if my first number is negative, then I will then I will only add that number. Or I can also write here if my array at zero is smaller than zero, then then only I will increase my negative. Then then only I will increase my first number. I can also do this. Or you can for the safe side you can always increase the zero index number with the maximum number. Then what I have do next? I will simply check if my current number. Is smaller than my previous number. Then while my previous number is greater than my current number, then I will, then I will simply add my previous number. And and the why this will work? Because I will make sure that my first number is always positive. Then which means if I add this number to my next number, then how much negative it is? It at some point by by adding this positive number, it will always become greater than that number. So this is the main intuition. And at the end, I will all I am also. Pushing my indexes in, in my answer array. So at then what can I do? I can simply print my answer size and also print the number and the answers. So if I show you the output that you can see, that you can see that at most number of times I am using 41 operation in the sample case. So you can you can play with the number of this number. I think this is not the perfect number which I have chosen, but this has but this has worked for me in the live contest. So here you can see if I decrease the, decrease the number of times I am increasing my maximum number, then my answer is also changing. So you can play with this number and find the absolute value which you, which which is giving you the correct answer or the minimum number of operations. So this is the problem intuition. So if you like the video, please consider subscribe and for the more contest. Solutions. Please consider to subscribe my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Until then, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.